Continuing the sentiment from the previous lesson where we're kind of doing a roundup of topics that by all rights could have been discussed earlier in this course, but we're going to introduce them now. I wanna talk about the last of the data types that we'll encounter, the data type null. So it basically, uh, null represents a variable that points to nothing, but an object reference was expected in that case. So just as a quick reminder, you can create a variable and not set any value to it, not initialize the value, not set the value, and in both cases, uh, or whenever we look at the actual value or the type of the value, it is going to return undefined. So the value of A, because we've not set it to any value, is undefined, and the type of A is undefined. All right, but here, that's just a variable. We didn't set it to a primitive string number or Boolean or anything of the sort. All right, let's suppose that you actually are expecting the variable to hold a reference to an object. So just to kind of copy a quick example from a previous lesson, let me comment all this out and paste in this. So here we have our regular expression example where we're gonna try and match a pattern X, Y, Z. And we're gonna use the strings match method passing in the regular expression, literal, that we created in line five. But this time there is no match. There is no string x, y, z in my value variable. So what is result set to? Well, let's see what we get. In this case, we get result is set to null. All right, well, what is the type of result? So type of result. All right, this is gonna require a little bit of explanation, okay? That's the quirk with null. It will actually return object, not the primitive type null. And that's a known bug in JavaScript that will likely never be fixed because too much code on the internet depends on the fact that type of null equals object is, you know, it's it's basically baked in and grandfathered at this point. But by all rights, if, if JavaScript had been designed correctly from the start, that would be null. But hopefully you get the idea there, all right. Um, but the interesting thing about getting a null result when we expected an object back is that we can do something like this, and I'll just copy and paste this instead of typing it all in. We can check result and say, are you, you know, and, and we'll do the strict, equali uh, strict equality evaluation. Is result null? And if it is, then we can say, well, no, no match was found. X, Y, Z was not found in our value. All right. And so this can be extremely helpful whenever we're uh, building our applications. All right. So just to kind of recap, null the primitive data type null is not zero, it's not undefined, it's not an empty string. It simply means that you have a variable where an object reference was expected, but it's not set to any object reference. It's different than undefined, right? Because undefined says I'm expecting to have a value, but one was never set, and it was expecting maybe a number string or Boolean. No, no, no. We're expecting an object reference, but we don't have an object reference at this time uh, set to our, our, our variable. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense, and let's continue on. See you there. Thanks.